Hello friends, welcome to Me Paintings. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Veronica Me and I prepared another rainbow tutorial for you. I will be using all these beautiful colors. If you'd like to know which ones are they, it's these colors from Lucas and it's turquoise, cerulean blue, permanent violet, mauve, cadmium red deep, indian yellow, then I've got my cadmium yellow, yellowish green and this one is sub green and viridian yellow. so all these colors will be mixed on my canvas and if you'd like to know exactly how i mix my colors i will put the link in the video in which i show everything it will be in the description box today i will just show you the consistency it's like this like slightly whipped double cream or like honey i'd describe it like honey and um, i mix Usually I mix 50% of acrylic colors and 50% of pouring medium. As a pouring medium, I use my own pouring medium, which I created from PVA glue. And I mix 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water that creates my pouring medium. Now I will also add two drops of silicone oil in each color because I would like to have some small cells and I hope I'll create a very interesting background for my special art. Lots of thin, colorful th cells. So two drops of silicone oil in each color, even in my black. Black will be my swiping color. And now I just mix it up a little bit, like this, not too much. Whoops, this one is gluey. That sometimes happens that your colors will get like a gluey thing but you you can mend it by adding a little bit of pouring medium into that and then you, know, you just mix it up very well I'm, i might have to add one drop of silicone oil in there again but yeah so then you've got a better fluidity of your colors whoops oops i didn't want to do that never mind that's okay, I will cover this with white, so it doesn't matter. So firstly, I will pour my white base on my canvas, and this is also a mixture of acrylic, white acrylic color and pouring medium, which I made by myself. So same mixture, I just didn't add silicone oil into this color. This is just a cover base for my canvas. I want to keep a little, a little bit for later on because I will be pouring some white in the middle and also I'll use it as a swiping color. So just make sure your white goes everywhere. It's perfect. I'm just gonna pour some white here in the middle because I want my colors to have nice flow. So now I can start pouring my colors. I start with the darkest green or viridian, viridian green, which I had all in there. Maybe two blobs like this. And then I've got my sap green. This is the yellowish green little dot. Yellow, always little blob in there and then here. Indian yellow, cadmium red, mauve, Permanent violet, cerulean blue, oops, quite a lot, never mind. And the last one is turquoise color, beautiful turquoise. Let's put a little bit of the turquoise here as well so it all will mix nicely together. I'm gonna pour my black, which will be my swiping color, here on the top. 
like this. And I've got this old piece of plastic sheet, which is great for swiping. So let's swipe all these colors all the way there. And then I will create another swipe. So it will be a double swipe technique, which I love. So just gently put it on and push down. Wow, look at all these beautiful cells. That's so amazing. Cool. They are growing. I know some of you might leave it like this. I actually love it. Should I keep it like this? Let's use my heat gun. It will create more cells. Wow, look at that, such a colorful splash. Look at these beautiful cells. I know some of you might keep it like that, but you know what? I love experimenting and I would love to show you what it creates when I make a second swipe. All these colors will mix together and create amazing combination of colors. So. I still have got my white here and I am I'm going to do that. I'm going to make another swipe. I just add two drops of silicone oil in my white. One, two. Like this. And I might add a little bit more pouring medium in there so it's more fluid. Yep, perfect. Now I'm going to pour it here on this edge. And make a reverse swipe with my piece of plastic. So wish me luck. Ready, steady. Okay, some of you might think, okay, you ruined it, you shouldn't have done it, but look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, I'm going to put it everywhere in every corner and it should create some beautiful thin cells. So time to use my heat gun. Look at that, do you still think I've ruined it? Uh, if you do, that's completely fine. I know some people just like it plain with big cells, but I wanted these amazing small colorful cells which just blend into each other and create beautiful thin cells. I'm going to show you some detail. And I know these cells will grow a little bit. They might move in the middle because as I said, I made this canvas by myself and it wasn't stretched properly but look at the colorful combination i love this i love this technique double swipe because it always creates an amazing combination of colors so cool welcome back after a few days my pore is dry but look at these beautiful colorful cells 
So now it's time to embellish it and turn this rainbow acrylic pour into 3D piece. And I start by creating borders because I like to create this frame for my 3D painting. So for that I just use a simple masking tape and put it around these four corners. So it is done and now it's time for the fun part. I start drawing these 3D patterns into my pour and for that I'll use my paint marker pen. You can use whatever acrylic marker you prefer. And I start by drawing these interesting shapes here which will create beautiful tangled pattern on my pour. And I start with the ones which are on the bottom of my pour. So I just go over this line like this and then put my brush in water. This is brush size 7 blending brush but you can use whatever brush you want. And then I just create a shade here and it adds that 3D effect. You have to be quite quick otherwise your marker will get dry and you won't be able to blend it so yeah you have to do this quite quickly perfect now this one Always put your brush in water, then I tap it on my wet baby wipes and make this shading. See, it already looks pretty. Now the, the top one here. This part as well. Perfect.
So that's it. Few simple lines and you've got your amazing 3D looking piece. So I'm going to finish it and show you one last step which you need to finish this amazing piece. So all of my layers are done and now the final step is painting shadows around these edges and for that I just use my black acrylic color. I put a little bit of it on my brush and create these edges. like that don't put too much color on your brush otherwise you end up with really big amount of black you want just a tiny bit of black color for creating that shadow So now it's time to take these tapes off. And here's the final result of my 3D acrylic pour with rainbow colors. I absolutely love this piece. I love how it turned out. I love how 3D it looks. I also highlighted some of these parts with a white acrylic marker to make it pop. And yeah, that's it. That's my rainbow piece. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.